All righty. So welcome, everyone. Um, Welcome to Redox Nurse Talk. Uh, we are both RNs. I'm Doria Stewart from Atlanta, Georgia, and Cindy Reed, my uh, partner from Nashville, Tennessee. We are independent uh, 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 global associates with ASEA. Um, it's a global health cellular health company. And our mission is to educate the public with a technology called Redox Singly Molecules and how you can incorporate this in your lifestyle. So we thank you for taking your time to be with us this evening. Uh, we always, um, what we need to do is state the disclaimer that this, what we're gonna show you tonight or what you're gonna see tonight is not um, indicated to uh, treat, diagnose, cure any medical health condition. Um, a few housekeeping rules, we ask that you, um, of course, you'll all be muted, but then also if you got to get up and leave your computer, we would ask that you would just uh, take your video off because some of us can get a little distracted as we're speaking. Um, each week, we're honored to have a guest that has an experience with the technology, either uh, physically or professionally. And we're so honored to have Nancy Walker as our guest this evening. Uh, Cindy Reed will be interviewing her uh, after you see a brief uh, video of what this technology is all about. We also are including a little uh, health nugget um, because we are nurses. Nurses like to educate. We could probably take up this whole um, Zoom hour just, you know, speaking on some things that are important um, in the health care arena. So uh, because this is, I'm wearing red and I see Nancy's wearing red too. So February is recognized as a national health, um, heart health month. And, you know, heart disease is the leading cause of death in, in men and women in the United States. And I didn't know this, but one person dies every 33 seconds from, cardio, from a cardiovascular event. And this is very dear to my heart because my father and everybody on my father's side of the family died at a very young age in their 50 related to heart disease. So coronary artery disease um, is, or coronary yeah, heart disease is the most common type of, of a cardiovascular event. You know, uh, plaque builds up in the uh, arteries of our vessels and becomes narrowed and it decreases the blood flow. And so oxygen and can't get to our brain and the rest of part, parts of our body. Um, coronary artery disease is, believe it or not, is 80% preventable. And um, heart health involves making healthy, you know, healthy choices, of course, decreasing your risk factors and adopting heart healthy habits. Um, and some of those being eating a well-balanced diet, exercise, quit smoking, manage, manage your stress and getting, you know, adequate sleep. You know, your body needs uh, fatty acids for heart health, but cannot make these on your own. So they must be ingested. So I put a, I, I, uh, we have a very uh, uh, a product on that ASEA. ASEA has a lot of different um, things. Our flag, flagship product is ASEA in the bottle. And then we have our redox singly molecules in a bottle and it also comes in a gel form. But we also have a, um, uh, what I call my nutrition nutritionals or things that are good for cell nutrition and that's called omega. Um, the body needs the essential fatty acids for heart health, but like I said, we can't make these on our own. Um, the omega-3 fatty acids are found in fresh, wild-caught uh, fish, and, um, and it, it, they help maintain healthy blood pressure and triglyceride levels. The ASEA VIA that ASEA has formulated uh, is for cardiovascular health, and it's made from fresh oil in the industry from wild-caught fish that is caught right within hours, um, you know, on the boat. Um, it's important to find the right supplement. Now, I've taken omega supplements years past before I knew about ASEA, and a lot of those supplements had a, a fishy taste. And I didn't quite understand that until I started doing the ASEA via omega. I didn't realize that what's happening at, in that process is oxidation. And oxidation is not, you know, good for us. So our ASEA VIA line, when you take the omega, there's no fishy burp. It's just, it's, it's fresh and it's purposed to be able to be digestible and be able to um, assimilate well into our, our system. Um, 
our flagship re redox um, is scientifically tested. And there's a study called Torrent Labs, which, you know, you can, you know, if you've been invited on this evening, they can, you know, share with you where to get that study. But one of the um, pathways, what it does is activates the genetic pathways or affects the genes that help, help maintain cardiovascular health and support arterial elasticity. So the two together are great benefits for our heart health. So thank you. Okay, welcome everyone. And we're going to go and going to show you a short video that just explains the technology a little bit on a simple level at what we're talking about tonight. And then after that, we will introduce our guest, Nancy Walker, and she has a great testimony and just a lot of things she can insight that she can instill with us with this technology. So hold on one moment while I share my screen. Today I'm here to talk about redox signaling molecules. So many of you maybe have never heard those words in a row before and actually know what that is. And so let me share. The inside of every one of our cells in our body, now remember we have over 100 trillion cells, and the inside of every one of those cells is filled with fluid. Well that fluid is called redox signaling molecules. Now it's a very important fluid because it provides information to share with neighboring cells about what's going on in their world, in their environment. If there's something attacking that cell and interfering with the function of that cell, it needs to share that information with the cells adjacent. And so we have these things called hydrophilic channels that open up like an aperture of a camera. And as that opens up, it literally sends light energy from one cell to the next to share information about what's been going on in that cell or attacking that cell. And that allows the neighboring cells to adapt so that they don't get damaged by whatever that invader is. So think of being in a hotel room and you have several family members that are in the adjoining rooms that have an adjoining door on the inside. And if somebody was trying to break into my door on the outside, I'm going to open up these inside doors and tell everybody to be ready because there's something bad happening outside. That's much how the lining of our gut is designed and built. And we need these redox signaling molecules to be able to send that information about what's going on in that gut and how we can defend against all the bacteria that's maybe overcoming and trying to invade and damage part of that gut lining. So why is this subject even important? Well, it's really interesting that every decade of your life, you lose 10% of the fluid in those cells. So if you think of a young cell, a healthy young cell, it's much like a round ball that's tight. Now, every decade of life, you lose 10% of the air, it doesn't look so round anymore. It gets more flat or more like a disc. So for those of us that are over 50 years old, we're functioning on half the fluid in our cells that we used to have when we were thriving and healthy. So this is an amazing supplement that you can take that we can actually restore that redox signaling molecules in each and every one of your cells. Now the process to do that takes eight weeks of taking this product in order to fully get your cells full again. Now that's super important because our immunity depends on that. The function of our digestive system prevents, depends on that. The balancing of our hormones depend on that. But one of the most important things I like is the effect it has on the nervous system and allowing your nervous system to thrive and function. So many of you know I specialize in brain health and severe brain and spinal trauma. And so many of those patients that have had trauma to the brain, they've lost what we call the dominant frequency, which is the most important part of our brain. It's our true potential of what our brain can do. And this is one of the only products, supplement-wise, that we can take that will literally help grow a myelin sheath 
back around that brain and turn the cortex into very healthy, viable tissue once again. So this is something that they thought was impossible to do. Once your brain tissue has been damaged, you can't grow that back. So we do neurofeedback training to aggressively grow the tissue back and to reprogram the way the nervous system is functioning. But we also use those redox signaling molecules to make sure that the strength of the cells and that the communication between the cells works so much better. And we need to grow that protective layer around the brain. And this is one of the only products that I know can literally do that. So why is it important that we take this supplement? Don't our bodies make this for ourselves? Well, you know, they actually do. Many of you know about uh, something called glycolysis, where we take sugar and insulin, and in the mitochondria of our cell, it's like the powerhouse of the cell, those two things come together and gives us energy. It's called ATP, and this energy is vital to keep our bodies alive and to keep the charge going on our nerves, to make the nerves function and fire. Now, we literally produce our body's weight every day in that ATP, so it's super important. We produce it and burn it up for fuel every single day. That's the extent of what they teach on glycolysis, but what they're not saying is that engine that makes that energy, that the sugar and the insulin turns into ATP, it has an exhaust pipe. And out of that exhaust pipe is what comes redox signaling molecules. For decades, we thought it was a waste product. And then we learned that this is vital to the function of each and every one of our cells to be able to make that communication network happen so we can communicate from cell to cell to cell and know how to defend ourselves and how to keep ourselves healthy and alive. So for those of you that are new to this product, don't worry, it takes about eight weeks before you're going to get the full effect of it. And then if you ever stop taking it, it takes eight weeks for you to return to the state that you're at now. So this is definitely one of those products that years ago made it into my inner circle of things that I do for myself and that my family does for themselves and for each and every patient that we're trying to restore proper nervous system and proper brain function. This is a critical nutrient that we want to make sure that you're taking in order to help us get the best results possible. So I hope that helps and until next time, have a great day. So many of you Okay. I just like the way Dr. Debrincat puts it in simple terms and just breaks it down. And I know he mentioned the fact that eight weeks to get you fully back up, that is potentially what's going on, but it still may be longer before you actually see physical results because these molecules are working on the cellular level. So with that, I'm going to introduce our guest, and we have Nancy Walker tonight. And Nancy is from the Pacific Northwest from Spokane, Washington. She and her husband, Dick, have four millennial children and a seven-year-old grandson. I can relate to grandsons. She's an avid outdoor enthusiast, skiing, snowshoeing, hiking, and biking. She had a professional career for over 20 years in the field of dental hygienist in private practice, and in now, and she was also teaching clinical skills at Eastern Washington University. Then in conjunction with her husband, they created one of the largest Surrey alpaca ranches in the country, which they ran for 20 years. She developed a yarn business and opened two retail stores selling alpaca clothing and yarn. One was a brick and mortar, and one was online. Nancy, that's awesome just to accomplish all of that, and I love alpacas. So I want to start off our question. Oh, one thing I do want to say, we are not opening this up to questions afterwards. It's such, you can put a question in the chat and we will open that up. And if Nancy has time, um, when she finishes, we can address those questions. But just for sake of time, we wanna just keep it limited to the chat. But Nancy, so tell us what was going on in your life when you were introduced to this technology? Well, first, I want to say thank you, Cindy and Doria, for inviting me tonight. And um, when, you know, I was introduced, like most people, by a good friend, Jerry White. Some of you may know him. And uh, I, I had a dream to have a retail store. And I was working pretty hard at that dream. Um, by the time I decided to close my store, I had worked pretty hard for nine years. So that's what I was doing when I was introduced to Asia. Jerry came over to our house 
one day and he said, I know you're going to want to hear about this. It is, you know, the technology of, of redox biochemistry. And it was over my head, even though I majored in chemistry, <laughs> we didn't hear, learn anything about redox signaling molecules. Um, so I said, well, will it help me? He knew that I was not well, and I'd had an immune system problem for a long time, probably 35 years. And so I, I tried a lot of alternatives, even though I'm married to a doctor, I didn't do a lot of Western medicine unless I needed something like an antibiotic. But anyway, um, that's what was going on for me. I was super interested in trying one more thing. I was never tired of trying things. I slept on a magnetic mattress. I had all these infrared, you know, things that I worked with. And um, I went to an acupuncturist and he thought it was so funny that I was married to a doctor and that he was my main doctor. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I was up for it. And I said, you know, I, I had done, we had done one other network marketing uh, business because we love the products, you know, but I said, look, uh, I am not going to do, I'm burned out. I cannot do, I'm already working sometimes 15 hours a day in my store. I did all the marketing, all the advertising, all the merchandising. I took all my photos of my models. I did it all. And so um, I said, don't, you know, I don't want to take on one more thing. I can't, you know, like I had, I, I was completely depleted of energy at that time, but I still had a dream that I wanted to, to do my store and make it successful. But I tell you, I was sleeping 10 hours a night um, sometimes all I did, I was too tired even to eat sometimes. And I was sleeping a lot, still tired, foggy brain. I couldn't get organized. I had over 600 pounds of alpaca fleece in my garage. And I was supposed to sort it all and sell it on the world market. But I just could never get my head wrapped around it. Now, um, I started drinking redox and I want to tell you it tasted terrible. I had to gag it down. Absolutely gag it down. I had so much oxidative stress. Now I know that looking back. And um, like I said, completely depleted. Really, every time I sat down, I fell asleep. So I didn't sit down very much. I had a hard time driving the car because I would fall asleep. For years, I would go get the kids at school and I'd have to, it was only two miles, but I'd have to pull over before we got home because I would find myself falling asleep. So I was really, I was depleted of all of my ATP. I could barely run my body. And um, so I started drinking the redox and within two weeks, I, my foggy brain cleared up. I... We live in a log home, a three-story log home, and I stripped all the logs on the inside of my house and got them ready to be stained because I had never done it. I was supposed to do it when we built the house. And 14 years later, I, I finally got the energy. I hired my window washer to help me. We stripped them all. We had to scrub everything. And that 600 pounds of fiber that was in my garage, I sorted it all. And I boxed it up and I sold it on the world market. That was the first two weeks. Now, uh, I have a condition where I had a condition. I, I guess I still do, but I don't have any symptoms anymore. But I hurt from head to toe. And I was very inflexible. Uh, I could never like wash my hair in the kitchen sink because my head wouldn't go down that far. I couldn't bend my neck that way. And even when I drove the car, if I turned to look behind me for traffic, my spine would burn so much. And some days I'd get out of bed and I would feel like someone beat me in the in the back in my spine with a baseball bat. And this is how I lived. Ibuprofen and try to make it through the day, try not to fall asleep. And um, so, but I got results in the first two weeks, all except for my discomfort and the stiffness. It took, that took another six months. And I remember thinking, oh, 
this stuff doesn't really work for what I have. And I saw Dr. Gary Samuelson at a meeting. And some of you remember him. He was a consultant. He, he and his team stabilized these bioactive molecules. I got him over in the corner and I said, I hate to tell you this, Dr. Samuelson, but these molecules don't work for what I have. And he laughed and I thought, why is he laughing at me? <laughs> and he said, yeah, they do. They work for anything, everybody. And he said, you're just not drinking enough. So he said, I want you to drink um, eight ounces in the morning and eight ounces at night and do that for a month. And he said, you're going to be thirsty and you're going to be hungry and you need to drink plenty of water. And then you come back and tell me how you feel. Well, I did that for two weeks. And one morning I woke up and it seemed like magic had happened to me. Now, mind you, I'd already been on the molecules for six months. I just wasn't drinking them regularly. I wasn't drinking enough. I didn't really know how to drink it, you know. But he, when he told me that, I woke up. And I did not hurt. Usually what I would say under kind of under my breath was, oh, my back. You know, that's what I could feel like every time I stood up after getting up. Anyway, I thought, hey, I feel pretty good. And I feel like getting up. Usually I just felt like laying there, you know, and pulling the covers over my head. It was like I was a new person. And what's so such a mystery to me yet is that I was flexible for the first time in my life. And I thought that was very interesting. And ever since that day, I've been able to maintain a regular fitness program and I don't get sore muscles. My experience before was my muscles never recovered. So I got like a whole new body. And I just think this, these molecules are more powerful than we will ever probably understand how did it remake my body in six months after you know after my 35 years I remember being 20 years old and hurting so much I couldn't stand at the sink and do the dishes my back had hurt hurt so much and uh so here I was um what was I 50 something 50 I guess I was 50 and how could then I could all I could do my fitness program. I could actually do yoga, which I always wanted to do because I thought it was so cool. <laughs> I remember when everybody started doing yoga, I would, I wasn't able to do yoga. It would make me cry. It would hurt so much, but you know, I, I just, it's amazing what happened to me. And um, I know there's a lot of people out there that feel tired, that feel hopeless and um, don't feel full of energy like they should. Uh, we're meant to be active. We're meant to move and be energetic and have dreams and be hopeful. And that's what these molecules help us do. When we feel good physically, we can feel good emotionally and mentally. So I hope I didn't ramble too much. <laughs> no, Nan Nancy, that was perfect. In fact, you answered some of my questions that I had planned. I was going to ask, what do you tell people when they tell you, I've been taking this product for a month and I'm not seeing results? Well, obviously it takes longer and everyone's different. Or like you said, they're not drinking enough. So anything you want to add to that? Yes. And some people um, are not drinking it correctly. Um, and there's really no big uh, it, you know, there's really no big secret about it, except that if every mouthful you take, you swish it for 15 to 20 seconds, then you will take advantage of more of the molecules. See, if you gulp it down, some of them will be destroyed by your stomach acid. But if you swish it around, they get absorbed through your mucous membrane right away. They're only two to four atoms wide, and they're not going into your bloodstream. They're going right into your cells. They don't have to be digested. 
They really don't, they don't go into your bloodstream. So that's why it's important to get more of the molecules into your cells. Uh, you just swish in your mouth. And so I explain that to people and they need to take it at least twice a day. These molecules don't hang around. It's just like what you heard on the video. They are fleeting. And uh, so, and just, and remember your body is still making some. So in order to have, to use all these molecules, it's your own body making them, but you're also supplementing with them. So you wanna make sure you're not destroying what comes out of the big blue bottle. And then your body has more to work with to run every system in your body. So you just, you know, I always ask people how they're taking it. Um, and they don't want to like take a sip of a sea, take a sip of water, you know, you just never know what, how, what some people's understanding was because I myself didn't really have an understanding of how often, how much, and the sky's the limit. They are non-toxic. You could drink a whole bath full tub, you know, bathtub full and it wouldn't hurt you. It's safer than water. And so people have nothing to lose to try this and you can titrate it to find your own sweet spot. What works for you? I had a drink at least 16 ounces a day for two solid weeks. Uh, and some people have to do more before you get, get completely flood your cells and get back into uh, uh, balance. And I've heard several people say that, you know, just we start people at two ounces twice a day, but then they said you can just really bump it up to give you that jump start, do that for a few mm -hmm. days, and then you're able to titrate back down, like you said, when you find your sweet spot. But I think it's good that you can. And like you said, this is non-toxic, so there's no uh, mm -hmm. side effect, or, and there's definitely benefits for actually increasing your dosage, at least for a while anyway, if not indefinitely. Um, right, Nancy. Right. We have several, oh, did you have something else? Oh, I was going to say, I always know when I need to increase my dose because when I'm putting, um, I wash my face and then I put Renew 28 on. And when I'm rubbing it on my face, if it smells like chlorine, then I know I need to bump up my ASEA that I'm drinking because my body's fighting off something, whether it's a virus, who knows? But I just know that at the, hey, that's a sign that things are not, as well as they could be. And then I drink more for a day or so. You must be reading my mind because that leads me to two questions. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so to, to start with, you mentioned about the taste was so horrible when you first tried it. And we've heard so many stories. It's Everybody has a different sensation when they try this. But what I have learned and what I've heard so many people say, the worse it tastes, the more you, you need this in your body. And I it think sounds like that was true for you. I think that's probably true. And what some of you might not know is that early on, a year before we joined ASEA, Denny Robinson, I had known her for some years. She had a case of ASEA sent to my house. Now I thought, why did she do that? Because I didn't ask her to, you know. And so I tried it and it came in these little tiny pouches, like 24 it was very weird it was like in a flat thing anyway i tried i drank some and i thought this cannot be good for me it tasted like chlorine i mean i was just like oh you know and i said dick try, well, do you know what this is and he said no i don't know i don't know what that is i said well taste it and he goes yeah i don't i don't really like the taste either so i took it back <laughs> I took it back to her. She was having a meeting at her husband's office. And I show up there because I'm like, hey, I know you paid money for this. And I don't want to just, you know, lie to you and tell you I drank it. I said, I just cannot. This, I didn't say it couldn't be good for me, but I thought she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> oh, contraire. Anyway, I didn't even stay for the meeting. I just dropped it off and we didn't get in for another year. <laughs> that is a funny story. That's hilarious. So you mentioned cleaning your face. So go into a little bit with the skincare because I know you've done workshops with our skincare line and how, what results are you seeing with that? Well, 
Um, I tell you, the I love the skincare line. I've never used a lot of skincare stuff. I mean, I have, but it, a lot of it, according to my, what I want is something that does not have chemicals. It's, you know, no chemical based stuff. And I've had a lot of skin problems in my life. So I have to be careful about what I have sensitive skin, what I put on my skin. Like I was looking at my wedding pictures not long ago and I'm like, why didn't I wear any makeup? <laughs> I didn't wear much makeup because I was sensitive, you know, to all that. So I've, um, but the biggest help I got with my skin was drinking a Sia Redux. Now I've had every skin problem you can imagine. I started going to a dermatologist when I was 13 because I had teenage acne. Then I had adult acne. Then I've had eczema over the years because I was a dental hygienist and I reacted, you know, to my, to the gloves that I had to wear. Then I had psoriasis and, um, you know, what these, this is what happens when you have an immune system problem. You never have just one problem. So when I started drinking a Sia Redox, it normalized my skin. And the way I understand it is... <clears throat> It's the language of your cells. So say your cells are talking when you're a baby or when you're in your 20s, your cells are speaking with a complete, um, with all the alphabet. And then, so it's doing everything. It's making the skin cells, you know, creating new skin from 12 layers down. It's doing everything is supposed to be doing but as we age we're we miss some of the letters and it's like alan noble says if your cell phone you know doesn't get good reception you're not going to get your message across and that's what happens within the cell and between the cells and between the cells and your immune system so as we age we're not doing we're not making new skin cells like we do way down 12 layers down we're not sloughing off the old dead cells so that's what a uh, sea redox works in conjunction with our redox active renew advanced system so re redox active means that the ingredients in the renew advanced which are plant-based natural ingredients they attach specifically to skin cells and they cause redox reactions within the cells. And that's why <clears throat> we get such good results. It, um, it causes your own body to create more collagen. Um, it causes <clears throat> your own body, your, the redox then is helping your body act, your skin act like it did when you were young creating those new cells way down deep in the layers so that when they come up, um, you have brand new fresh cells and it reverses um, any kind of photo aging or renew advanced. So the minute you walk out the door and even if you're in the house, but you're sitting by a window and the sun is coming in, it's breaking down the elastin fibers that cause your skin to be elastic. The sun is so destructive on our skin, I can't even tell you. And the Renew Advance not only reverses that, <clears throat> excuse me, but it makes your skin more resistant to the environment, to the sun, to um, pollutants in our environment. And it just, uh, it fortifies the skin barrier, which is the main function of the skin. If you didn't have your skin, not only would all your insides fall out, <laughs> but all of the bacteria, viruses, spores, fungus, you know, everything we live around would, would kill you. And so it's super important. And I've always been a proponent of not using chemicals on your skin. A lot of harsh treatments breaks down that barrier. And um, so now we can do it naturally, safely. There are plant-based 
um, retinols in the Renew Advanced, and they're 100% safe. Pregnant women, nursing mothers can use it safely. A pregnant woman cannot use a chemical-based uh, retinol because it could be harmful to the baby. So I feel so good about having a product I can recommend to virtually everybody. And it's going to help them every single time. And it's not ever going to hurt them. That's what I love about ASEA. I trust this company 150%. They're never going to come out with something that hurts somebody. But it's powerful, effective, safe technology every time. I, I love that. It is. I want to switch gears for one question, and then I'm going to turn it over to Doria. So what would you say, what are the benefits that y'all have reaped from having an ASEA business? Well, uh, that's interesting because um, if we did not have this business, and if my husband had not had the foresight to build it when he did, we would not be where we are in our retirement. We would not have the good life that we have. And now think about it. You know, I we were working so hard, we didn't even have time to really stop and think about. We were looking forward to retirement. But when we got there and we went down to the Social Security office to find out what we were going to get paid, <clears throat> I was speechless when we walked out. I could barely walk. And I thought, we worked all those years, we paid in our money and that's it? How do people live on social security? It wasn't very much. And it's, um, we've had a couple little raises, you know, in our social security, but at the time it wasn't even gonna pay our house payment. And I thought, oh, what would we do if we had if Dick had not built an ASEA business? By that time, of course, I had joined him in the business, but it was three years. We were diamond before I just that before I said, okay, I will do this business with you. Because that's how burned out I was working. And I was taking care of my mother-in-law for 15 years. I was taking care of the alpacas, 150 alpacas. Anyway. Finally, I decided that I was never going to sell an alpaca sweater that would change anyone's life. And I was sitting in my store one time watching the cars. It was particularly slow and like looking out the window. Oh, is that car going to pull in? You know, and I thought, how dumb is that? I sit here waiting for people to come in. And I'm not changing anyone's life and I'm not getting any younger. So I'm going to do something that matters. And I decided to close my store. We took on a partner. We moved all the animals off our farm. I closed my store. I had a farm store. So my customers could see the babies being born. It was really fun. We had festivals and all that where I would invite spinners. It was fun, but it was a heck of a lot of work. and. <clears throat> We weren't, uh, it wasn't really making enough money. We had four children to educate and education is very important to us. So two of our, our um, daughters are doctors. <clears throat> one is an orthodontist. One is a uh, doctor of pharmaceutical or pharmacy. And then our sons, uh, one son is a professional artist and the other one is a, a real estate agent and a guitar player. <laughs> So anyway, that doesn't come cheap either. And that was our priority. So if we had not built this ASEA business or if my husband hadn't, <clears throat> life would not be real happy for us right now. <clears throat> we would be having, you know, having had to downsize by a lot and we wouldn't be traveling. Now we get to travel with our ASEA friends. That's the other thing. We didn't have any friends because we didn't have time for friends. And the alpacas were my friends. And my son, my youngest son would get so mad and he'd say, mom, 
you should because I'd come in my muck boots would be all dirty and smelly and stinky from cleaning the barns and he'd say mom you shouldn't be working in the barns you should be having martini lunches with your friends and I thought I don't have any friends you know um but when we now we have we have loads of friends all over the world literally all over the world and all over this country and we're friends with people i really care about because they're real people they have compassion they care about other people and those are the people i want to associate with and that's what asia has brought us a lot that's of awesome. quality friendships yeah that's sweet that's awesome that's and i I'm, agree with you totally uh, Doria, I'm going to open it up and let you share your questions. Sure, I just have two. So, Nancy, we know that, um, you know, ASEA has chosen a distribution model um, in next level marketing. Could you um, expand on that and what that means? Yeah. Um, next level marketing to me means that you're not going out being salesy you are uh educating i mean educate i've always called this educational marketing you educate people you you first of all you you care about people you reach out you're compassionate you find out what they need everyone you know is not living a 100% hunky dory life and you just ask them about what their life is like and are they happy and then you then you have the solution and um you know what's so easy about asia is we have the solution in redox which no one else has so it's not like you're competing with other redox companies and you got to be better than anybody else no this is the one and only powerful foundational product that absolutely everyone should be drinking there isn't anyone on this planet that shouldn't be drinking this. And you just have to tell people your story. Some will want to know more, not everybody, because their awareness isn't there. But the more they hear it, the more their awareness will open up to what a SIA redox is and why they need it. So next level marketing is different. We're not, we're not trying to convince anybody. We're just being compassionate. And we're getting the word out in the best way we know how. Yeah. One by one. And it's a, a beautiful gift to share with everyone. Uh, lastly, now you've been an associate for what, 10 plus years now, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell Love us here. a little bit about the culture of the company. Well, ASEA's ethos, which is so amazing, that whole presentation, if you haven't seen Tyler Norton do it, you've just got to see it. And uh, you should come to Salt Lake City if you can in September. He's going to give the presentation. It's also on YouTube. And the ethos of the company is predicated on the idea that everyone... If you're a human being, you are the same, no matter what country you live in, no matter what language you speak. Uh, the mothers in um, Europe, the mothers in Singapore feel the same as I do about my children. Uh, they want healthy families. They want healthy children. They want everything that we want. And so that's why... Uh, you can reach out to virtually everyone in the world with what we have, the gift that we have, because everyone is the same. We all want to know that our life mattered. You know, at the end of our life, we want to know that it mattered, that we made a difference. And uh, so um, this provides a legacy for all of us it provides a way for us i mean probably we're never you know all of us are not going to start a, a business like 
Apple, you know, and change the world. But this will change the world. And um, Virtus provided this for us. He provided the road map for us to leave a legacy, for us to get to the end of our lives and say, I made a difference. And my life mattered. And that is the ethos that Asiya, that's that's what it, the special about Asiya Redox. Yes, and I'm just so thankful that, um, you know, he said yes to the people because we wouldn't be on the Zoom this evening, you know, had he said yes to, um, you know, the principal and the, the money uh, that he could have taken that was generational wealth that he could have had for for many for many years for his family so just so thankful that we can take part in that mission to you know get this out to the world so now i'm, I'm done with my questions so i if you could put your questions in the chat that's how we're going to um present the questions to nancy now so uh, if you have any have any questions go ahead and put them in the chat and then we'll um, go from there if um, if some of you didn't watch the mentoring uh, call with uh, Denny Robinson's mentoring call this morning, you should watch it recorded because Leland Duck just had another experience with his best friend who almost died. And he was on a ventilator for 12 days and Leland sat by him and rubbed slathered renew all over him. And mm. he survived and got better and the doctors were so shocked and everything that he went through Leland never left his side and it's quite moving and that's another example like these are this is a powerful technology we don't even know the power of it so never underestimate what it can do I do see one question in there. It says, how much water should we drink during the day to be sure redox works? What's your opinion, Nancy? Um, well, at least <clears throat> um, I drink at least 32 to, you know, 48 ounces a day. I'm, I'm just, I love water. I, yeah, I, I'm a real proponent of filtering your water very well. And I drink um, alkaline water with uh, minerals in it and it tastes really good. And I drink at, at least, you know, two or three of these a day, probably closer, at least three. I just saw Doria's response. I didn't, I'm sorry, Doria, I didn't see that. But um, Doria said, drink half your weight in water, which is what we've heard before. So yeah, just a lot of water. An <laughs> an ounces. Ounces. Right. Yeah, an ounce. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, and sipping it throughout the day versus drinking, you know, if you've got a you know, big, don't just down it, you know, because it can flush your system, you know, with some major electrolytes. But if you can sip it throughout the day, that's better too. Hey, Barbara has a question. Nancy, now that you've accomplished so much, what are some of the reasons you're still building this business? Well, sometimes I think about retiring. I'm going to be honest with you. So I think, okay, what would I do if I retired? I don't drink alcohol, so I'm not going to have a martini lunch with my friends. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I always come back to ASEA because I think there's nothing more important than this. And uh, it provides money because face it, we all have to have money. It takes money to live, but that it's not all about money. And uh, you have to have enough so that you have all, all of your basic needs met. Um, and then you know, I just don't know what's more important than helping people who um, have hope from a desperate situation, whether it's their health or their finances. And I tell you, there are so, I'll tell you what keeps me going is 
a lot of people who are retirement age don't have the money to retire. That's why you see people working, older people working at Walmart. You see older people working in fast food restaurants if you ever go in them. And I just think, oh, how that's so sad to work your entire life and not get to live the life of your dreams. And not everybody's ready to listen, but at least we have something to offer. And I don't want to just sit around. That's not me. I can understand that. I can relate. So there's another question. Part of ASEA's mission is to be a force for good in the world. Can you tell us a little bit about the Advancing Life Foundation projects? Oh, gosh. If you ever go on an Advancing Life Foundation trip, it will change your life. We went, we'd always wanted to do, uh, we always wanted to do a trip like this when our kids were growing up. And we had, at the time, we had four teenagers and we planned to go with this other company. Let me just say this as a preference <laughs> uh, before I get to Advancing Life. We had planned to go with this company called Helping Hands. And when our daughter learned that there was going to be no electricity for her hair dryer, she refused to go. <laughs> and so <laughs> even and then we had one daughter and one son who were the you know the same about their hair and they would not go. And so we never went. And then we joined Asia and I was like, "Oh, what's this advancing life?" Thing. And we went to Ecuador. Oh my gosh. Uh, we were in the mountains of Ecuador building a trade school because the people in this mountain uh, community, there was no work. So as their kid, as their children grew up, their children had to leave and go into the big city to find work and they didn't return. And those parents also wanted the same for their children. They wanted success. They were, you know, they, they had to say goodbye to their children. And who knows if they ever lived in the same area again. But anyway, we built a trade school so they could get educated and make a living. And it was the most, the most rewarding thing we've ever done. It was the hardest thing we ever did. We, um, we had to dig ditches. And for a while, I thought maybe we had been victims of human trafficking <laughs> because we dug these ditches five feet deep and they said okay we want you to dig them take the big rocks and put them in one pile the smaller rocks go in another pile so we did it we dug all these ditches and then they came back and said okay now we want you to put the rocks back in the ditch and i'm like we're never going to get out of here. We're going to be slave labor for the rest of our lives. <laughs> but uh, then I realized, okay, we're building, we're building a, the drainage system for the entire school. And uh, anyway, we did that and we did it alongside um, Ben Tyler, who is the, um, head of the attorney, he's a head attorney for ASEA. And Chuck Funky was with us, Tyler Norton. I mean, they don't just say you go on the trip, they go and they work and we all, and we stayed with local families in their homes. And um, it was absolutely incredible. Um, we were one of the lucky ones, we had a, a warm shower uh, but when we got done, we had never worked so hard, even on the farm. But when we thought now, when we see who graduated from the school and who has a job and a career and a family, you know, we would have worked harder had we known the impact. I'm sorry. And they, every year they come on, they say, okay, now these people graduated. Now these people graduated. 
anyway, I I will never forget Trish Winkler and I walking with our 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 um things that we were digging with. <laughs> they were these long, we had all these tools. We were walking back to the shed and she was like, she got back and she laid down on the ground and I thought she had died. <laughs> she was so tired. <laughs> and <laughs> we were both just so tired. But um and here here the number one, you know, uh business earner in the company was there. We we don't just say we care, we really care. And to see, but the impact we have is so is gives us so much more than we gave. It's pretty incredible. That's awesome, Nancy. Wow, that is that's heartwarming. And like you said, if you ever go on a trip like that, I've not been on the advancing life, but I've been on a mission trip and it does change your life. It's that's what it's meant to do. Um, now, so first, now I think they do a lot of painting and not digging ditches. So that's one one plug I'll put in. <laughs> well, we appreciate this so much. And for sake of time, we need to go ahead and shut it down. But we appreciate everyone coming. And Nancy, we appreciate your testimony. You you checked all the boxes and this was an awesome testimony. So I want to tell you, anyone that was invited to this Zoom, go back to the person that invited you to get any questions answered that you may have and join us again next week. And Doria, I will let you introduce our guest for next week. Yes, so thank you, Cindy. So when somebody was asking in the, in the chat, all you have to do is go to redoxnursetalk.com. We're on every Tuesday, um, 6 p.m. What's that, Mountain Time? Is that where you're at, Nancy? Mountain Time? I'm on Pacific. Yeah, Pacific Time. Time, five Pacific. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then uh, Central Time, 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So, you, you know, that's when we're on, but we do upload this to our Redox Nurse channel on YouTube, so you can see the recording there, and we have other other guests that we've had on that recorded. I think we have, what, close to 35 recordings up there right now. But next week, we have Jimmy Saffle. He's got an incredible testimony where he was down um, and actually bedridden because of his back discomfort. And he'll share about how this technology, you know, helped him um, get active and decrease that discomfort. So he'll be on with us next Tuesday evening. So thank you. And also, I think someone asked, we do upload this to our YouTube channel. So just go to YouTube and search Redox Nurse Talk. This will be up um, tomorrow. And I think someone did put in the chat was asking about the video that we shared with Dr. Debrincat. You can also just go to YouTube and search redox signaling molecules videos and he'll pop up as some of the options. And it's like a five or six minute video. He, he actually has a couple, but but they're good. Yeah. So thank you everyone again for coming. And we appreciate again this testimony, Nancy. And everyone have a great night. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you, everybody. Get that part. It was Thank an you, honor Nancy. to see this.